Hey, welcome back to Hostify, my name's Alex, and today we're going to look at how to upgrade from the USG to the UXG. Now that USG is approaching its 10-year anniversary in 2024, many people might be looking to upgrade from the USG to the UXG. USG hasn't had any new features in quite a long time, and the UXG is a lot more powerful. We've got a guide on our support centre to show you exactly what to do. Link is in the top right-hand corner and in the description down below. And the guide goes over every detail you need to do, so from making a new site within Unify, adopting the UXG, removing the USG, and then migrating the UXG to the original site. So I've got the Unify controller here, and it's got the USG adopted to the controller. So I've got the USG in the devices list, I've also got a US8 150 watt switch, and there's an AP light which is offline. So we need to make a new site for the UXG, so go to the site switcher and then add new site, and we're going to make a new site for the UXG. Uh, the reason we're doing this is because you can't adopt more than one gateway to one site at one time, we need to get the UXG adopted to the new site so we can then migrate it over. So the next thing you need to do is adopt the UXG to the new controller and there's a guide on our support center to show exactly what to do. Again, link is in the description. We won't go over this process in this video because we've already got a video on how to adopt a UXG to Unify. Um, but it goes over the first time setup and how to adopt the UXG. So once the UXG is adopted to the controller, we can now remove the USG. So the UXG is in its own site within Unify then what we need to do now is remove the USG from our original site. So let's go ahead and do that. So we've got remove, remove USG. Now the USG is removed, we can go ahead and move the UXG to the brand new site. So go to the site switcher, go to UXG, then go to devices, click on the UXG, and go down to settings, and scroll down, and we can move the UXG to a new site. So we're going to select the Unify Complete Setup and press Move and go back to our Unify Complete Setup and then the UXG will appear and it's starting to get its details. Bear in mind that the UXG will now adopt the same WAN settings from this site so you make sure that they were correct or that they're going to be relevant for the UXG because it might go offline later on. Next thing to do is plug in the new UXG to the exact same network cables as the USG so remove the USG from its original location and then plug everything in to the UXG. Uh, and don't do this before moving the UXG to the new site as the DHP scope on the UXG could be different to the ones you use in your LAN and could cause temporary issues. Next thing to do is wait for the UXG to come online within Unify and that's all you need to do. So you can see now the UXG is now getting ready and the Unify 8 150 watt switch is now online. All right, that's how you migrate from the USG to the UXG. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Armada. We have Hostify Pro, where you can get one-to-one -one help with an engineer, and they can help with your project. Have a look at the website, hostify.com forward slash pro, and get started with your project today. If you've got any questions about Unify, UISP, or TP-Link Armada, contact our team at support at hostify.com, and they'll be happy to help. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex, and we'll see you again next time.